Hey guys, what's happening? And thanks for stopping by. So this video is going to be another in the series that I'm doing where I'm watching original films and their remakes, uh, doing reviews for both films and then doing a compare contrast between the two. Uh, so tonight I'm going to talk a little bit about Inside. Uh, if you haven't seen this one, it's a French film that came out in 2007 and it was part of the wave of extreme French films that came out in the mid-2000s. Um, I had just done a, a review for Martyrs and its remake, uh, so uh, I decided I'd go ahead and do Inside and its remake next, uh, because Inside is one of my favorite French films, so I really was just looking forward to watching this one again. So uh, it focuses on a young woman named Sarah. Uh, she's pregnant. Uh, she's about to have a child. And the movie starts out with a, a pretty graphic car accident. Uh, unfortunately, Sarah's husband, who was in the car with her, dies. Uh, but fortunately, Sarah and her baby both come through okay. And uh, then it fast forwards uh, to uh, four months and uh, the eve of the due date uh, for Sarah's baby. Uh, she starts out at the hospital uh, having a few last tests uh, done. And then she's going to go home, spend a quiet evening uh, uh, by herself, and then have somebody pick her up and bring her to the hospital the next morning uh, to have the baby delivered. So uh, once she gets settled in and everything, um, a, a strange woman knocks on her door. And uh, she's claiming that her car is broke down just down the street and that she needs to uh, come inside and use the phone. Uh, but Sarah's real hesitant about letting her in the house. Uh, she makes up this story about her husband being asleep because he works and uh, she can't wake him up. Uh, and basically tells the woman she's just going to have to go somewhere else that she can't help her. So it's at this point that the woman reveals that she knows who Sarah is and that she knows Sarah's husband is dead. So uh, Sarah threatens to call the police. Uh, she eventually does. Uh, the police come out. Everything seems to be fine. They can't find the woman. Uh, but they tell her they'll stop by, uh, you know, one or two times more uh, over the night to, to make sure that everything's okay. So uh, anyway, they leave, and as you can imagine, the, the woman does get inside the house, and that's where uh, we find out that uh, she's uh, after Sarah's baby. Uh, she intends to cut it uh, from her body and take it as her own. So that's the, the premise for this film. Um, so uh, yeah, it kind of in the first act, uh, while this woman is, uh, you know, kind of stalking Sarah, uh, showing up at the door, showing up at some windows and stuff. Uh, it has a you know a traditional horror film uh, look and feel. You know, it's kind of uh, kind of creepy, kind of atmospheric. Uh, but once she gets into the house, it turns into just a you know pretty much a straight up home invasion film. Uh, you got a little cat and mouse going on as uh, you know Sarah's trying to get away from this woman. She ends up locking herself in a bathroom. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, if that's all that happened in the film, it wouldn't be very interesting. So uh, there's a few more characters that come to the house over the evening to kind of spice things up. Uh, and overall, um, this is just a really tense film. Um, I really enjoy it. Uh, it's one of my favorite French films. Uh, it's super gory. It's super violent. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's just got a lot of things going for it that I really like. Um, Sarah's obviously a sympathetic character. I mean, you know, how do you not feel sympathy for a woman that is being attacked uh, by another woman that wants to take her unborn child away from her? Uh, it builds up some really tense moments. Um, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff that happens in this film. Like I said, it's super violent. It's got a lot of gore and there are practical effects. There's no CG here. It's really well done. It's top-notch gore. Uh, I mean, it's almost like artistic. I mean, you know, they paint the walls with arterial spray. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's just uh, it's just really good. And I've, I've said it before in other reviews, you know, I'm a big fan of really gory films, especially when it's practical effects and they're really well done. Uh, so, I mean, it's just a shoe-in for me. I mean, this has got to be a film that I love because, I mean, it's just got, you know, like I said, all the stuff in it that I really like to see in a film. Um <clears throat> With the addition of the other characters coming in, it's kind of got like some slasher-esque components to it. Um, I mean, it's not a slasher film by any means, but just, uh, you know, it's got more going on than just this woman trying to get to Sarah. I mean, she's, you know, she's presented with these obstacles. You know, these people come over and they have to be dispatched and uh, things like that. So, I mean, it's got a, you know, like I said, it's a pretty wild ride. Just a lot of crazy stuff that goes on, uh, you know, and blood everywhere. I mean, if you're not accustomed to watching 
um, really gory films uh, and you decide to watch this one, just beware. Uh, they're going to just, you know, they're going to take you up on the diving board and just toss you into the deep end because this is a super gory film uh, and very well done. So, uh, yeah, it's just got a lot of things in it that I like. Um, unfortunately, it's not a perfect film. Uh, it does have some flaws in it, um, one of which probably my biggest problem with the film uh, and as it turns out, it's not uh, the film's fault, uh, and then I'll get into that here in just a second. Uh, but anyway, the 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 very opening scene um, before the car accident is actually a CG scene of uh, it's a depiction of the baby in the womb. And like I said, it's computer generated. It's not good CG. It looks very cartoonish. Uh, it's just not good, uh, especially when you compare it to the absolutely astounding effects, uh, the practical wise that are in this film. Uh, and if it was just that, I could deal with it, but it does it several times in the film where it just uh, shows you basically what's going on inside the woman with the baby. Uh, and it's, it's really jarring. I mean, it takes you out of the moment because, uh, you know, it's not just because it's CG, it's because it's bad CG. Uh, and like I said, it'll just take you right out of it. And, uh, yeah, um, but um, <clears throat> I was reading somewhere uh, about a year ago. Uh, I was actually going to do a review for this film earlier. Um, but at that time, I was also playing around with the idea for this series where I would do, um, you know, reviews for original films and their remakes. Uh, so I wanted to hold off until I started that series. Uh, but anyway, I was reading some other reviews and I found one uh, where somebody was talking about this same thing. Uh, and they had an addendum to their review that they come back and added that said that uh, a friend of theirs or somebody that they knew uh, had some inside information, uh, no pun intended, uh, where uh, these scenes were actually added post-production. Uh, this film was co-directed. Uh, there were two directors. I can't remember their names at the moment. Uh, but anyway, um, apparently it was not the intention of either one of the directors to have these scenes in the film at all. Uh, they were added post-production by the um, studio uh, executives. And the directors didn't even know about it until they saw the film um, shown at a film festival. So because of that, I can give it a pass uh, since it wasn't, you know, their original intention to have this in the film at all. Uh, but just be aware, you know, it is there uh, and it will definitely take you out of the moment. Uh, I don't know how anybody could watch this film and actually enjoy those scenes uh, because uh, at the same time, they're really not even necessary. I don't know why the why they wanted to put them into the film to, to begin with because it doesn't really add anything to the film at all story-wise. Uh, but anyway, there's that. Um, like I said, the, it does have kind of like a, a slasher feel to it with these other characters that come into the house that uh, basically get killed. Um, and uh, in, in true slasher form, uh, these people basically die because they make bad decisions and do stupid things. Uh, so yeah, um, it's kind of got that component to it as well. Uh, and then um, there's the, the, the glaring plot hole with this film. Um, you know, the, the whole intent of this woman is to cut the baby from Sarah and take it for, for herself. Um, you know, if that was her intention, that she wanted Sarah's baby, um, I think it would be a lot easier just to wait till after the baby was born and then come break in one night and steal it while everybody's asleep. Uh, I don't know, just call me logical, but uh, that seems like that would be a much easier thing to do than to actually, uh, you know, cut a baby out of a woman's stomach. Uh, now, obviously, we wouldn't have much of a film if that's what happened. Um, I guess you could have a film where, they, you know, she was trying to steal the baby, but I don't think it would have quite the impact that this one does. So uh, I'm just going to chalk it up to just suspension of disbelief uh, that as long as you, uh, you know, kind of take it in stride and don't dwell on that too much, uh, you can still have an absolutely fun time with this film because, like I said, it's a, it's a hell of a ride. Uh, like I said, if you're not used to this kind of thing, it will shock you uh, because it's got some pretty shocking scenes in it. Um, but they're all well done. Uh, they don't get to what I would I would call over-the-top gratuitous. Uh, it, just, uh, it just delivers what, you know, uh, fans like me want to see. Uh, so I give this film two solid thumbs up, uh, despite the flaws in it. Um, highly recommend it uh, to anyone that likes extreme horror, uh, especially uh, extreme horror that's still a real horror movie, because uh, like I said, this one is uh, is definitely uh, a fun ride. 
so if you haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, that's going to be my review. Um, and I'm going to go on a little bit longer uh, and talk about something else um, that I just want to kind of throw out there. Uh, but it's going to have spoilers in it. So if you haven't seen the film, uh, I highly recommend that you just uh, go ahead and cut out here in just a second. Uh, if you like this video, let me know by clicking that like. Uh, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my other reviews. And if you click that notification bell, then YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new review. Uh, so yeah, appreciate you watching. Uh, but uh, if you stick around any longer, there's going to be spoilers. They're going to start here in three, two, one. Uh, so yeah, um, this was probably about a year ago <clears throat> when I was reading those other reviews. Um, another review uh, that I was reading had this idea that um, everything in this movie is all in Sarah's head. Um, but they really didn't give a whole lot of concrete evidence. They just uh, they just kind of threw it out there like, you know, this is one of the ways that you could interpret this film, but they didn't go into any detail why you might think that. Um, but I've seen this film probably at least a half a dozen times, and I never got that from it. But I, I just remembered that when I sat down and watched it last night. So uh, I kind of watched it, uh, you know, kind of keeping an eye out to see if there was any evidence. And uh, and after watching the film, I think, you know, you might actually be able to, to say that it's possible. And, and I'll tell you why. Uh, the big reason is... Um, well, you know, at the end, or in the last act, uh, the, the little twist is revealed. And that is that this woman that's attacking Sarah is actually the driver of the other car. And uh, she um, lost her baby in that accident. So she is coming to take Sarah's baby uh, because she thinks that Sarah owes her. Sarah took her baby from her, so she's going to take Sarah's baby from her. Uh, so, you know, it's an interesting little twist. Uh, you may have not been able to see it coming. Um, but anyway, uh, one of the things that Sarah says to her is they told me that there were no survivors. And I never really paid a whole lot of attention to that line before. It never really stuck out like it did this last time that I watched it. Because why would they tell her that the other driver was dead if she wasn't? Uh, that really doesn't make any sense to me, right? Uh, I know this is a French film. I don't know how they do things in France, but if this had actually happened here in the United States, that accident, there would have been a write-up in the paper the next day that told what happened. And if, you know, if everybody was dead, it would have said everybody was dead. If there were survivors, it would say survivors. So, so why would Sarah be under the impression that the other woman was dead if she wasn't? Um, because it wouldn't, it, it, they wouldn't, I don't know why they would lie to her because I mean, you know, it would be better for her psychologically if she knew that the woman survived. That way she didn't think that she killed somebody. Um, but, uh, but anyway, that's one of the, the things that makes me think that, um, this might all be in her head. And you couple that with the fact, um, that, you know, when we're first introduced to Sarah, she doesn't seem like a very likable person. Um, you know, she starts out, uh, with the, examination by the doctor. She's doing a few final tests and everything before she comes back uh, the next day for the delivery. And he asks her a few questions that she just completely ignores him, just kind of looks at him like he's crazy, like she just wants to get the hell out of there. Uh, and then she's waiting in the lobby, I guess, of the, the hospital waiting for her mom to get there. And that nurse sits down and talks, talks to her. It's kind of a strange little conversation. But all Sarah's got to say, she just looks at her and calls her a twat. And then, you know, her mom gets there and she's like, you know, mom, just leave me alone. Go away. I want to be alone. You know, so she doesn't seem like she's in a very good place mentally. Um, fortunately, the, the action picks up not too long after that. So we don't really have enough time to de detach ourselves from her or decide that we don't like her. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, you know, so this whole thing that um, the, the woman could be made up. Uh, and this, all the things that happen in the film are all in her head, um, could just be because of guilt that, you know, the woman really did die in the accident. The woman was pregnant and, and Sarah feels guilty about this. So maybe the accident was her fault. Uh, maybe not. Again, we don't really know uh, who was responsible for it. Um, but, uh, you know, if you, if you take it to where, you know, the other woman actually died, like Sarah thought that she did, uh, then the, the movie does kind of make sense that it would be in her head. 
Um, and that could also be, you know, the title inside, you know, I always took it to mean, you know, the, the baby inside Sarah, but it could be that the whole movie is inside her head. So, uh, you know, there's a little bit of evidence, I guess, for it. And the other thing too, uh, there was another thing that kind of, it has always struck me, uh, when I was watching the film. Um, but it, I just attributed it to them just not giving us all the details. I'm one of those people that don't think everything has to be spoon fed to me. Um, but we never know how this woman actually gets inside Sarah's house. So, you know, they don't show her breaking in. Uh, it happens after the cops have come. You know, Sarah's fully aware that this woman is out there. So obviously she has locked all of her windows, locked all of her doors. Um, so if the woman broke into the house, you would think Sarah would hear it. Um, but, uh, but as it is in the movie, she just appears in the house. Uh, it's actually a very creepy moment when we realize that she's in the house. It's one of those, you know, traditional horror aspects that I was talking about earlier. Uh, so yeah, if you, if you take all of this, you know, that, uh, you know, that Sarah thought the woman was dead, you know, she's in a bad place. She could be feeling guilty. Um, <clears throat> and then, uh, the fact that we just really don't know how the woman got in the house to begin with. I mean, it does kind of make a little bit of sense. Uh, that everything could be inside Sarah's head and none of it actually happened. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, I don't know that I uh, am on board with it. Um, I think it's a possibility. If you think that, that's fine. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there for you guys, uh, see what you thought about it. Uh, so uh, if you got an opinion on it, uh, drop me a comment, let me know, uh, tell me what you think, because I always like to hear that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, like I said before, uh, if you like this video click that like subscribe to the channel and uh, click that notification bell and as always guys thanks for watching and until next time we'll see you